Hello. I'm going to talk this morning about evaluating studies in psychology. Central to what a psychologist does. You see, as scientists, we are committed to relying on evidence, not common sense, not personal opinion. But what goes with that is that evidence has to be decent. So, first thing to look for as if you're looking for sort of problems, limitations in a study is what kind of study is it? If it's an experiment done in a laboratory, well, the chances are the conditions are quite artificial. People may not behave naturally. So look carefully for that. If on the other hand, it's an experiment carried out in the field, is there a lot going on? Are people likely to be distracted and that's going to affect their behavior? If your study is a survey, are people going to tell you the truth? Think carefully about the questions you're asking them. If it's a correlational study, are the re researchers assuming that just because there's a mathematical relationship between two variables, that one is actually causing the other? It ain't necessarily so. Next thing to think about is your sample. Think sample size. In an experiment, um, it's a laboratory experiment, typical sample size is less than 100. And that's okay because you're dealing with controlled conditions where people are matched up you know, between you know, groups. That's okay. However, at the other end of the scale, uh, um, an international survey might have 10,000 people or more taking part. And sample size isn't everything. Think about sample characteristics. Has there been a real effort made to represent all the demographics of the population? And does that matter? If it's a, a cognitive experiment, people's memory, people's perception isn't going to vary massively between one culture and one age group, etc. and another. But social opinions absolutely will. So in that type of study, it's much more important to have everything well matched. Finally, think about the validity of your measures. Is what you're measuring what you're setting out to measure. For example, I've seen studies where what the researchers are interested in is intelligence, and what they've actually measured is educational achievement. Well, one is not a valid measure of the other. So have a look at that. So think type of study, think sample, think validity. That's all for today.